out in a bag. Glass. Beer. Nice view. That's all you need. Hello guys. This is the pickup video that didn't happen. So, if anybody asks, you know, we haven't seen this. Yeah, me and me a couple of fucking hell. This is this show. Uh, me and a couple of friends here on YouTube. We decided, you know, almost like a bet, not gonna buy anything for a couple of months. Uh, to make a sh long story shorter, is that um, our game here, you know, the company game, uh, went bankrupt. So they were selling everything off, and they started out with. 30% off, but then it was 50, or 60, 50, 60, and then it was 70% off. So, you know, I, I felt like I had to fucking buy some games that would be stupid otherwise, you know, uh, to make some good deals. And I did. And also, there are some games here that I bought before um, the deal was made that I haven't showed. Uh, it's, it's really cool stuff. Uh, fantastic find as, uh, finds as well. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, and also, it's a non gaming related thing as well. I, w I s might as well start with that. It's it's Boba Fett. Uh, so, either way, you, you can have him like this, and you have like uh, this little thing here where you can put like candy, or I actually have it there. Usually, I put my phone and keys in there when I get home. Or you can actually you know, take this one off and uh, you know, he can fucking hold your DS like that, you know. Uh, it's pretty cool as well. Uh, these are not expensive at all because they're like hollow on the back. So yeah, but they're cool as fuck I think and I choose to get Boba Fett. Uh, he was on he was on for sale so he I think I got him for like uh, around ten pounds. So yeah. That was awesome. They're a bit more expensive than the other ones, but he was on sale. So yeah, let's start what I got in uh, at game. And uh, we can start with Xbox, Xbox 360 games. And uh, uh, these two weren't that really fucking cheap, but with that, I think this was a 50 day, 50% 50 off. It was okay prices, you know, a bit better than they sold for. So yeah, this is cheap game usually as well but it's a really good like shooter uh, like bullet hell shooter uh, Akai Katana uh, I still don't have a 360 but you know someday I will so yeah, I'm buying out the games I really want for the system and um, especially the games that didn't come out on the PS3 and to my knowledge this one didn't come out on PS3 so yeah Akai Katana and uh, the other one that was a bigger you know better find because it goes for more money is Doranpachi Resurrection Deluxe Edition uh, yeah so uh, I'm gonna start showing uh, uh, the inlays now <laughs> no I'm not and this game uh, you might ask yourself why the fuck did I buy this and um, the story is that I used to play a PC game uh, first person shooter for seven years uh, it actually well the the last guy I was you know um, the last yeah soldier I was you know uh, a character I put in 2700 hours into him so yeah I played first person shooters a lot especially this game so I didn't know that this game ever came out on the console so when I saw this, it was like two pounds. Uh, I had to buy it only because of that. Uh, I used to play America's Army seven years. I was in clans. Uh, we even played for money. Uh, yeah, it, America's Army was fantastic up to two point nine point three or something. Then it went to three, and they fucked it all up, and most of us left. It was a sad, sad, sad day. Uh, you can still play, I think it's like 2.4. Uh, 
lot of the fans have, you know, fixed the server and shit, uh, so you can actually play that still, but it's not, not many people playing it still. It's sad, sad, because I really like that game. It was more, more, very much more realistic than other first person shooters like CS and stuff like that. So yeah, I kind of missed that. Uh, what else? This one I talked about yesterday, uh, Gradius Collection. This was 80 Swedish crowns uh, minus 50% off. That's about three pounds, three pounds 20 maybe. It's a good price I think for Gradius Collection. And this game is, is funny because um, Inside game there, I went. I went to the other game. This out more in the suburbs, actually where I grew up, and um, I met a guy in there that I, I know from Facebook, and he bought shit from me, uh, you know, a couple of months ago. So he actually bought this game, and and the next game we went to, we took his car and went to the next game as well. I found it for like one fourth what he paid so it that kind of pissed him off and I, I was you know the you know better man to actually say you know you can have this you know it's and he's like fucking hell I already bought the other one so you fucking take that so so I always want to try a Wolfenstein game and um, I know this is not the new the newest one and I think there's another one coming out soon as well I heard really good shit about this and I heard really bad shit about this as well but yeah I really want to try it out. I think it was um, Console Snob who did a, a review of this that made me really want to get this. So yeah, this is because I've used Scott. I bought this. Uh, you can take some peripherals. I absolutely love uh, to have all my uh, consoles with um, wireless controllers. And now I got one more, and that is the Nintendo 64. I always wanted one for these, and uh, I heard, you know, I have a, a, a wireless controller from Retrobit uh, for my Super Nintendo. I know that it's really good, so it wasn't really a hard choice to get in this one. Uh, feels good. So you, you store your batteries in uh, where the memory card like goes. But if you want to use memory card, the, the sensor you put in the actual the actual console, uh, you can actually put the, the memory card in there as well. So the only thing downside to this is that you can't use the rumble pack. But I don't really care about rumble pack. That was cool back then. But yeah. So uh, and the good thing as well is it, it has um, uh, turbo as well. Uh, so an auto fire and stuff like that. I want to use that. Uh, that was a bargain in there in game as well. And uh, this is the only thing I bought when it was 70% uh, off. Uh, I just took a shot the last day they opened. There was nothing in there, you know. Everything was fucking gone. But I found this, and this was 80 Swedish, 70% off. Uh, I don't know, 22, 23 Swedish crowns. That's about. One pound eighty, maybe something like that. So I bought it. I have an Xbox now, so I wanted the original Xbox um, remote control for the DVD. Uh, so I, 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 yeah, I think mine being modern now, I can actually play play DVDs as well. So I got this the uh, DVD movie playback kit, or whatever you call it, uh, for one pound fifty. It's you know mint, delicious, even a fucking battery in there. So that was cool. Um, uh, I like my survivor horror games. I never played this series and uh, I need to get the first one uh, The first one I think is uh, only came out on Xbox 360 and PC But this is the second one and I preferly I get the games uh, If they came out on a PS3, I want to get them there. So it's Condemned 2 uh, Oh yes, what I know is there a Condemned 2 with the variants or is it just called differently in the States? Uh, I'm not sure but yeah I don't really know much about this uh, survival horror games, uh, but uh, yeah, I found it in there, and you know, with the 50, 60 percent off, you know, I had to get it. And uh, yeah, I love survival horror games, as you know. And uh, a game for my Resident Evil collection. Um, this is fantastic. 
and uh, yeah, if I'm I'm right, this is the original uh, Resident Evil uh, on the DS, but it's uh, with a different mode or something. Uh, I will have to play it. I haven't tried it yet. It's Resident Evil Deadly Silence. Um, yeah, I think it's like more and new, more puzzles, new puzzles, but it's still set in the first, you know, uh, mansion. Uh, like uh, the first Resident Evil, uh, I will get back to you on that one. But awesome for the Resident Evil collection, and uh, we got some more, almost like horror games. Uh, uh, you could always call them on rail shooters, horror games. Uh, it's from a series that I always wanted to try. I played the Wii version of it, and I really like that one. So when these three. Uh, I found all three for yeah she after the 50% off I paid like maybe three pounds each I think so something right around there two pound three pounds so it's dead space and uh, dead space two and dead space three and uh, if they are like the Wii one it's on rail like shooters uh, so I really need to get a connect, uh, but if the, if the are these, no not connect, I mean the move one, uh, I don't think you can actually use move on this one though, yeah it doesn't matter, it's survival horror games and they're on rail shooters, you know, it's, it can't be bad, it's like, it's like two in one, if you ask me what I like. And this one was a really good find, uh, and it was cheap even before uh, the percentage went off. And I think this was the day it was 30%. Uh, this was pretty early, if I remember right. Shit, my, my memory is so bad. So I don't have the first one, I would get that one. So it's Fear Effect uh, 2. Um, yeah. It's a, it's a game series that I uh, always wanted to try, but never really found for good price here in Sweden. These are quite of expensive games. Uh, I mean this one usually goes for around you know 15 pounds maybe uh, and you know me getting it for two pounds fifty it's fucking awesome. Uh, and then I got some cheap uh, PlayStation 1 games. Alien Trilogy. I never played this. I always wanted to try it out. Uh, so yeah I got it now uh, for pounds. And uh, this one is pretty weird, and uh, I don't know if it's an uncommon game, but I've seen this before. It's uh, like a shooter, uh, but it's more like a, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a bit like, um, what's that one called? Uh, fuck it. It's, just, it's kind of a weird uh, 2.5D shooter. Uh, very futuristic and cool and uh, supposedly very cool music as well so we'll see about that N2O Insectoid so I'm happy to get that for a pound uh, so the last things are the things I think yeah uh, I picked up um, uh, before the deal was made I, I promise <laughs> I found this. Uh, this guy had this one on on uh, the Swedish uh, eBay. Uh, it's you know it's not called eBay here. We have eBay as well, of course, but this is another one. Uh, he had it for buy it now for fifteen pounds, and I've never seen it before. I thought it was you know I wanted it for my collection. You know it's my Final Fantasy collection, so it's you know a non-brainer. But that's usually what it goes for, so I thought I made a fantastic deal, but yeah, I didn't buy it. It's a very cool thing to have, uh, and it's a Final Fantasy X, uh, X2, uh, like an ultimate box, uh, in very nice shape. Uh, everything, it's a bit of box porn here for you guys. So inside there you get, because uh, it's ultimate box, uh, it's the, the ultimate hits one, so you got one in uh, 10 and 10 2 uh, and you also get the Final Fantasy uh, another story uh, and I think this is like 
almost like the move they made out of all the FMVs in the actual game, if I'm right. I'm not really sure. It's very cool inside as well. Um, yeah. So, that was an awesome find, I think. For 15. And uh, the same seller uh, contacted me and said, hey, I got more Japanese stuff. And, uh, and he showed a picture. And... I saw three Meta Gear Solid games I always wanted in this version. Uh, these are like the, the collector's editions or whatever you want to call them. And uh, yeah, these are also Japanese. And uh, he, you know, I was I was asking you know for the Meta Gear Solid game, what, how much you want. And uh, these are all in. You know, these came bundled with the Final Fantasy. I didn't have to pay any shipping extra for this three. So uh, this went. 23 pounds for these three all in I'm very happy with that so the first one we can start with is uh, Metagay Solid 2 um, substance with you know with alternative missions via missions uh, of course Sna uh, Sons of Liberty and you know Snake Tales and uh, you get this very cool like uh, yeah. in this nice slip case uh, yeah, fantastic. I'm happy to get that, and it's a very, very minty condition as well, as you can see. Uh, I don't know, do you have these, uh, uh, Cyber Snake? Was this a good find, these three? Let me know. And the other one was uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Maximum Thrill. This one you get a very, very nice uh, font like that. Very cool. And yeah, back like that. The slipcase is in immaculate condition. So really happy to get that. And the, the you know the, the big price. It's not it's not a very expensive thing this, but uh, I never seen it here. And that is Medicare Solid 3 uh, substance. It's like a bigger box and very nice condition as well. Uh, with this you get uh, like a solid three substance of course and you get a uh, you know the big, a big book uh, place guide in Japanese but a lot of nice pictures and uh, yeah very nice condition and you also get Medicare solid three substance special disc existence uh, I think this is also like a kind of like a a movie as well about the game if I'm sh if I'm right I I think I actually had this disc before just this one not it like the, the whole thing here the case and everything I don't know where, where that went but yeah now I got it in, the, in its right form uh, with the book there uh, put them in here so yeah I'm, I'm, I kind of decided uh, Maybe two years ago, I'm not gonna collect for Metal Gear Solid, uh, you know. But and uh, stupidly, I th sold off all my PAL PlayStation 2 games. Uh, they are so cheap. So I don't know why I did that, and uh, because I had the HD versions of them. Uh, of course, I didn't sell off the PlayStation One uh, because they haven't made a HD version of the first one, have they? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I mean, you you only got the the one on the GameCube, and that's not that's not HD version. So um yeah, I'm getting those back. I have to, and uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I really like Metal Gear Solid, but do I really need three fucking series that I collect for? You know, Resident Evil, <laughs> Metal Gear Solid, and Final Fantasy. Yeah, maybe so. But I'm not gonna go crazy uh, at all, and uh, yeah. So this was the last thing. Of, uh, so now you, you won't see a pickup video at least with games uh, from me for uh, at least two months uh, and uh, yeah I'm sure about that because I haven't you know I stayed true except you know the game thing there which I had to do and uh, that is now closed so yeah cheer you guys and this was the pickup video that never happened remember that don't forget that and enjoy the summer and uh, be nice